Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Drunk Pokeroo. Makes a gingerbread house with the help from his friends at the Skoga Brewery. Today we have a, a wicked gingerbread house that Mrs. Pokeroo picked me up. The Millennium Falcon gingerbread kit available at uh, your local grocery store for about 20 bucks. We also have the Shinnick Stout, which is absolutely outstanding for a sessional stout. And the, the tall boy I've been waiting for since I tried this beer a couple of years ago, twice as mad Tom, absolutely fabulous. You can see I'm wearing my Shinnick shirt and my Muskoka toque that I got from Muskoka Brewery. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Will be very well worn. Um, but let's get into this. Uh, I'm going to pour the beer first because I'm probably going to need that as we go along here. Now, I may speed up parts of this because I'm assuming this is going to take me longer than 15 minutes to set up. So we'll see what goes on. Twice as mad in a tall boy is a fabulous idea. Um, I, like I, I have no problem with the six pack, and I buy the six pack from time to time, much with other kinds of beer. But for a guy like me that likes a lot of different styles, at, you know, in an evening, having tall boys means that I can buy one at a time. There is your beer, my friends. Twice as bad, Tom. Cheers. Oh, it's friggin' delicious. So, twice as mad, Tom. It doesn't mean it's twice as hard as Mad Tom or twice as bitter as Mad Tom IPA. What it is is it's a bigger alcohol content, obviously. It's an Imperial IPA, so I mean you're looking at some serious, uh, serious hop. That it's 8.4 percent alcohol, so it's not a beer to be trifled with. Um, a nice toasty malt backbone, some big bitter uh, grapefruit notes, especially on the on lingering, lingering on the back end. It is serious, it's a serious beer. So we got the scissors, we're cutting her open. I do have a bit of a Star Wars obsession. Uh, born in 1973, original Star Wars came out when I was four. I remember going to see Empire Strikes Back with my dad, and also Return of the Jedi with my friend downtown by ourselves. So we have this amazingness. We have gingerbread. We have the icing, which we're supposed to knead very carefully to make it more pliable. And we have various colorful candies. Okay, so we're going to actually look at the instructions, because as a man, I usually don't. It says, knead icing pack until icing feels smooth and consistent. Then we have to lay the pieces on the table. So let's get into this icing pack. Now, before I do that, another sip of beer. Cheers. If you like IPAs, you need to go to the LCBO and get a can of this. That is so delicious. Now, not to take away from regular Mad Tom. Regular Mad Tom is fabulous on its own, believe me. However, there's something about an 8.4% alcohol beer that is just awesome. So now, let's get our pieces out, as it says. Get the scissors out. There's, I've never made a gingerbread house in my life. I am 43 years old. I might have made one when I was a kid with my mom's help, but I don't know. There was four kids, so I probably didn't do much. So it tells you to lay the pieces down. But that's it. Look at that. Millennium Falcon. It's pretty cool. I don't care where you're from. That's pretty cool. That's it. Like That's it. There's there's five pieces there. So scary a little bit. Um, so we have to build a base, which is... I can do that. I'm fine. No problem. I'm very handy, uh, as opposed to the baking. Uh, this should be Mrs. Pokeroo's thing, but... Uh, that's fine. So we're going to provide the cement now to these various pieces. This is what the icing is. Have you ever made a gingerbread house? Because I'm a little daunted by this task. You know, give me uh, an Imperial IPA. Give me a gigantic Saison. Some funky farmhouse Brett beer. And I'm going to be all over that, okay? No problem. Give me some baking, and I am scared as a little boy on his first Christmas in 1974. Um, yeah, it's a little daunting. I'm sorry. I mean, I am not a baker or a, a – I'm not a cook. I mean, I work in a ki commercial kitchen, but everything's done by numbers and by, and by temps, so it's not like I'm there seasoning and making stuff happen on its own. That is not what is happening. So basically right now I think we're trying to provide the glue – for the walls of the Millennium Falcon. 
I'm seriously terrified by this entire process because I don't want it to suck because this is going to be... Well, I totally did that wrong, but okay. That's fine. That's working. Okay, all right, there we go. See, we're just squeezing her together there. I probably use too much icing, but is there such a thing as too much icing? I don't know. It's like, is there such a thing as too much IBUs? I'm not sure. Let's go a little more twice as mad as Tom. So now, the next step, once you have this base, now, I'm, granted, I'm assuming this will dry over the evening, um, giving me a firm and solid base for my gingerbread house. I have no idea. Um, so here we go. So we're going to put a little more of the glue, which is basically just sugar. Um, has anybody tasted this stuff yet? Let's just give it a little taste test. It's basically just sugar. I mean, it's icing, but what's icing but sugar? So it says to layer a nice row on the top. And of course, now here I, I'm very good with this, I'm assuming. I have no idea. If Mrs. Pokeroo is home, which she's not, thank goodness, because she, she would make a lot of fun of me. She is an excellent cook. Um, she, when I met her, she was actually decorating cakes at the local coffee shop, Tim Hortons. For those of you who are Canadian or who live in the northern United States, you understand Tim Hortons. She made cakes. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. That's a lot of sugar. So now, Millennium Falcon. I'm looking at it. It just says kind of lay it on top. I have made gingerbread. But not really. So now what happens here is I'm supposed to do some icing of the the various spots where you're supposed to put the candies. Now the thing I like about Twice as Mad Tom in a Tall Boy is that, like I said before, I can have one or I can have two. I can grab two, go to a buddy's place, and be like, "Here, man, let's split this. Let's each have a beer and we'll talk about it because it's a fabulous Imperial IPA." Hot damn, that's good. So right now I'm looking for all the divots. Um, and then we're going to get these. There is no way 80% of these don't end up on the floor at some point. Um, how I was ever allowed to make a gingerbread house by myself, I have no idea. Clearly Mrs. Pokeroo overestimated my abilities as a chef. Now I'm not sure, but I'm really hoping that my niece... Julia, many years ago when we had Christmas dinner at our house, which we're doing again this year, when she came over, her and I were talking about the gingerbread house. How do you break the gingerbread house part? And I said, get a hammer. So I gave her the hammer, and she smashed it. And then we ate delicious gingerbread. So this year at Christmas, I will, of course, allow her to smash the gingerbread house. Now, when I read this, it says, decorate your Star Wars gingerbread kit with Remaining icing and candy beads. You have no idea what that means. But uh, I will I will continue to do that because there's no way this is not awesome. You, know, you can fly around. It's up and down. There you go. Those beads are sticking. So, yeah, it, it, it's very interesting to, to, to make a gingerbread house. And it's falling apart. Oh, that can't be good. See, you can't move it too much or the whole thing comes apart. Much like my life, my gingerbread house needs attention. It must be tended to because the walls have come down. I've eaten more sugar in the last five minutes than I have in the last two years. However, so this is going to have to sit for a while. I will come back again. We will decorate and see what happens uh, when I let it actually dry so it doesn't just collapse on itself. Until then, I'm going to go finish this. We'll come back, we'll pop open the Shinnick Stout, and we will finish decorating our Millennium Falcon. Cheers. Hot damn, that's good. Whew! Hello, my friends. We are now on the back half of the decorating of the Millennium Falcon gingerbread house. Um, the first half was way more exciting because we had to, like, make this happen, which we did, so awesome. It's still a little 
tender. So we have to be gentle with it. Because if we're not, then we won't have a gingerbread house for Christmas Day, and that'd be terrible. That's a lot of sugar. Okay, so the big thing with gingerbread houses is you got to let them kind of settle. you got to let them sit and let them be gingerbread houses. Um, before we get into that, let's talk about Shinnick Stout. So Shinnick Stout is from Muskoka Brewery, of course, as you see. I am the Shinnick guy because holy crap, it's cold outside right now. Um, really nasty. It's only 5.2%. It is so almost a sessionable stout. Almost a crushable stout. Now, available either in single cans, like I picked this one up, or in probably the best mix pack from 2016, the Muskoka Brewery Winter Survival Pack. It comes with a craft lager, a cream ale, a detour, a mad tom, a shinnick stout. Oh my goodness. Like the, it's filled with beers that are awesome. And that's what you want out of a mix pack. I don't want a mix pack. There's some great mix packs out there that are going to give me stuff for hop heads or stuff for craft beer aficionados. And that's fantastic. But you know what? Give me a mix pack I can bring to my father-in-law's house where I'm going to have something for him where I can give him a Muskoka craft lager. So he's a guy who drinks Coors Light. And I'm going to give him a craft lager and he's going to be like, oh, okay, it's a beer. Like he's not going to be offended by it. He's not going to be like, oh, like it's too hoppy or it's too, too bitter. Nothing at all. He'll be fine. You know, I can give it to my brother who is not, <laughs> you met my brother Mike, he is not a craft beer guy, but I'm guaranteeing you, I give him a craft ale and he's fine, you know. Then I got my hophead friends, you know, my friend Brad or my friend Glenn, I give them that Mad Tom and they are so happy to get that Mad Tom or that detour. Now, with this, with the, the Shinnick Stout, it is an absolutely fabulous stout and at such a low ABV that you can actually make them sessionable which is awesome. So, cheers. Cheers to the second half of uh, making a gingerbread house. Damn. So this is a massively coffee-forward beer. Smells like coffee. Taste on the front end is coffee. A lot of dark chocolate on the back end. Lingering coffee notes. I mean, uh, we, we've done a video on this. We've done the Instagram post. We've done the Twitter post. We've done everything on Shinnick Stout. It is a fabulous beer. Plus, you know, I think these stripes are slimming. I know they say horizontal stripes on a larger gentleman is not a good idea, but I don't know. I, when I see myself in the video or in the mirror behind the video, I, I, I'm like, I kind of look pretty hot. So, here we go. We're not quite dry yet, as you can see. We will be very, very soon. But we're going to do a little bit of decorating on the top because I do not want to leave without having to having made my my Millennium Falcon very gingerbready. Now I'm going to pick Mrs. Pokeru up her own gingerbread house because let's face it, uh I should not be in charge of the gingerbread house. Not even a little bit. Uh it it's sad and and I love her for it, but uh at no point should I ever be in charge of the gingerbread house in this house. Um this house has one very fine baker. And that baker is Mrs. Pokeru. You know, I mean, I'll do my best. Um, I'm sure this is going to look like the grade two project I did where I brought it home. My mom put it on the fridge and she said, good job, Rob. And God bless her. I thought I actually did a good job. I did a terrible job. Um, I am not an artiste. Not at all. Um, you might see my beer pictures and say, well, no, you, you, I mean, I, I have fun with beer pictures. Absolutely I do. Beer pictures are a fantastic way to express my artistic side. But at the end of the day, I am a wordsmith. I am a guy who translates his life not through pictures and art, but through words. Um, I always find, especially this time of the year, that I understand what has happened in the last 12 months more. When we come to Christmas, when we come to stuff like gingerbread houses, as much as I'll make fun of it, um, I certainly understand that the time of the year that we miss people the most 
is Christmas. The time of the year where we feel the loss of a family member, of a grandparent, of a brother, a sister, a spouse, any of that. We feel it right now. We are on December 6th, so we are 19 days away from Christmas Day. If there is a day you are going to feel your loss the most, it's probably Christmas. So, I mean, I will make jokes about making gingerbread houses and, you know, being inept at that. But, as always, craft beer has shown me the way, has shown me that, you know, when you come back to real life, when you come back to what's actually happening, you stop and you say, yeah, I miss you. If there's somebody you miss, if they're still alive, if, if it's just somebody you've fallen out with, you, somebody's done something stupid or you've done something stupid, is it worth it to hold a grudge? Is it worth it to not say sorry? I don't think so. So it's going to take, I'm guessing, Mrs. Pokeroo to make this look really pretty because I don't think I can. Um, thank you to Muskoka for both Shinnick Stout, Mad Tom, my shirt, my hat. I appreciate everything you've done for me. I appreciate everything every Ontario craft brewer has done for me this year. I have made most of a gingerbread house. Mrs. Pokeroo is going to make it look way better. I will see you soon. Um, the beer advent calendar continues unabated. I'm going to go watch some Christmas specials because you know what? I feel like that's what I want to do. That's going to make me a happy man. If I don't see you before Christmas, I miss you. I love you. I'll see you after Christmas, but uh, let's try and get together. Cheers. Oh man, that is a good goddamn beer. Cheers. <laughs>